warm welcome to the Sulphur Springs Park. My name is Cedric. You can call me Lee. Consider me as the entertainer for the afternoon. I'll be talking to you a bit of the geology, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But I am sorry to spoil your vacation. But right now, all of you are inside a live volcano. <laughs> when we have volcanoes, we always picture Conchip Mountains. But there are different types of volcanoes in the world. This is one type, called a caldera. A caldera means a collapsed volcano or crater. So right now we are in the belly of the volcano. And it is active. Because all below us, there is magma. The magma chamber, two and a half miles deep. Once magma is present, there's always a chance for an explosion. How many hurricanes have you had? Oh, <laughs> hurricanes? Last hurricane was in 1980, so in all about three hurricanes over the years. Okay. Now, once magma is present, there's always a chance for an explosion. But nobody can pinpoint when it's going to explode. All right? Because the first explosion was 40,000 years ago. The last one was 1766, so there is no time range. So what we have in place are machines monitoring the volcano. And the thing about volcanoes, they would not just stay and erupt. They'll give you warnings first, like seismic activities, the ground bulging, animals like birds moving away, plants dying, all those are signs. So nature has a lot to offer us. You study nature, you'll be safe. Now in the river, you're a bit of a smell. It smells like eggs. That smell is a gas called H2S, hydrogen sulfide, a very poisonous gas. But right now it is low. We are inhaling two ppm, two parts per million. There is no harm. But from 10 ppm onwards, it's poisonous. What a gas does, destroys our sense of smell, becoming odorless, and that's when it kills us. Any questions? Am I clearly understood, everyone? Mm -hmm. All right, from here, we're going to head to the top, Michelle. Okay, we're going to follow this group afterwards. Now, in the past, all of you were allowed to go walk in there. Because this railing, this bridge was not built. All this was built after someone got burnt walking. A guy called Gabriel. He was towing a group. But when he was standing, the ground broke. And he got stuck waist height. Second degree burns from his waist down. So after that, we are banned from walking in. Luckily, Gabriel is alive. He's a fisherman living in Sufra. So he went to the ocean, because the ocean is much cooler. Right? In there, the water temperature is 212, 100. So if you were to fall in, that's it. No more stress. No more bills to pay. Right? To the top, everybody. Ja nie mogę. Ja tak się zaleka po prostu. Nie, to nie Okay, everyone from the Simon Says stores. What is bubbling in there? It is not lava. It is a combination of rain and sea water. Presently, we are at an elevation of approximately a thousand feet above sea level. The water in them also flows into the pool near the entrance and then into the Diamond Botanical Garden. Now, this, you, on your way down, you probably saw two cone shaped mountains. They are called pitons. It is magma pushing its way up through the surface and being solidified. Persons do climb them from an adventurous height. And lastly, this volcano, it is called La Sufuye. Sufuye meaning sulfur in the atmosphere, like the nearby town. Heru was the first town.
found the French discovered. They also called Herald Qualibu. Qualibu meaning the place of them. During the French Revolution, they fought persons were being sacrificed in there. They also thought there were some spirit gods, so they would go and worship, they would go ahead and worship in there. Do you all have any questions? Was I boring to the group? No. Very good. Okay. So we'll be heading after the group goes down. We'll be heading back to the gazebo where I'm going to officially end the tour with you. Okay, now. Nine is over there. Now, every color you see is a mineral, the white, calcium, the yellow, sulfur, the gray, carbon, the brown, iron. Unfortunately, we have no gold, no bauxite, no diamonds. The Lucia is way too young, probably in the future. The name of the volcano is called La Sufria. But there are five, well, there are four La Sufria volcanoes in the Caribbean again. Mount Strat, Dominica, St. Benson, and Dominica. And Guadalupe also called Sufria volcano. But their volcanoes are the Coldship Mountain Volcano, what is called a Stratophone. The most active volcano is on Mount Strat, an island close to Antigua. 1995 in blue, 97, 2008, and 30 days ago. So that's the most active volcano in the Caribbean. But the most explosive documented in the Caribbean is 24 miles away, Martinique, a volcano called Mountain Pele, which killed 30,000 people in 1902. One person survived in a town, a prisoner in a dungeon. So to me, that's a great irony here. All right, maybe that crime does pay in a sense, because he survived, all right? If this volcano blows, doesn't mean it's gonna blow from there, but anywhere in the crater. And three towns may be affected by the explosion, which is Canaries, Soufre, and Suezel, all right? And if it blows, least likely to be lava coming out from it. It's going to be something far more dangerous, called pyroclastic flows. Like in the US, Mount St. Helen, Washington State. The Caribbean, Martinique and Montstrat. As far as Italy, Pompeii. The gas will choke you, the ash will burn you, you become a statue. So if it blows now, what we have to do is strike a pose. Right? <laughs> I like to remember when you go up a step. Any questions to ask? No. Is there anything you'd like to know about the island or the volcano? Anything you've probably seen along the way? Our tour guide, our tour guide really helped us. I should help you. She's over there. Yeah. Okay, everybody, from her returning down here. Be prepared, big walk up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you very much, appreciate it. Watch her, she's tired, so. 